Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your April Singles Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Sagittarius, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see what's going on for you. Singles at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any heavy placements, male or female. General collective reading. So please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely give flip the energies around if you need to, especially if you're a cross watcher, could be a reading for you or messages for you. All right, Sagittarius. Well, look at this, all this high priestess energy. Wow. So we have high priestess of spirit and we have high priestess of earth. So we have seven and three. That is 10, which is about completions. If you do have the seven, three completions, uh, full circles, new beginnings, because that would be 10, which would be one, endings, new beginnings. But seven is a very spiritually, divinely guided number. And the three is energy of rebuilding, collaborating, teamwork, you know, growth, expansion, learning something new. So the high priestess, priestess of spirit is about connecting to spirit, to source, your intuition, your higher knowing, trusting in the universal energies as well. And the high priestess of earth is the same energy, but it's in a grounded, stable um, way. Earth energy, you know, you think of earth, earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with an earth sign or have earth in your chart. Um, but if you're single, then you probably aren't dealing with anyone. So you could have earth in your chart. It could be getting ready to meet um, an earth sign. But you know, with these singles readings, this could be somebody from the past returning. This could be someone you're dating, getting to know, maybe someone you have a crush on or someone totally new coming into your life. But earth energy is very stable. It's grounded, wise, practical, smart. It's about taking our time, not rushing. It's about slow growth and expansion. And it's about trusting our intuition when it comes to those energies in a stable way and the way we connect to spirit. Some of you may actually need to get out in nature more, connect to the earth, mother nature, and that's where you may really connect with spirit or your intuition, your higher knowing, universal energies as well. Hmm, interesting. So I definitely feel out like the seven and three, you could have just completed a cycle in your life and you're on your you're on a new beginning in some way as well. All right, Sag, let's see, singles, what else we need to know? Everything you need to know is down below about me and the channel. Your playlists are down there. Um, you have a lot of April readings out. I do post every Monday and Thursday here, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, all 12 signs. Different reading each and every time, uh, eight readings a month, and they're all different, so a wide variety here. You can check that out. Love readings, spirit readings, moon readings, um, all kinds of stuff. So check it out, money readings. All right. Oh, we got two here, desert and grounding. I just got grounding for um, Leo, so let me get you one more. So vision quest. So I definitely feel like you may be having um, communion. Oh my gosh. That is like... Uh, you may be... It's like spirit here is... Uh, It's like spirit is definitely, I mean, it says communion, but I feel like spirit is definitely communicating with you. Um, definitely grounding, getting out in nature, grounding more, that is for sure, will really benefit you. Vision quest, you know, you may um, have some visions and plan, but maybe you're kind of, maybe some of you just moved out to the desert. I mean, could be, and, gr and now you're grounding yourself there. But actually, what I'm feeling like here is maybe you've had some visions, dreams, goals, aspirations that never really took root or come came into fruition that kind of like dried out here as well but it's about you know what you know seeing what you don't see but i definitely feel like spirit has um communed you in some way here so if you're wondering if you're doubting hmm, i wonder if you know i'm really connected to spirit here if they really can hear me see me um if we're really communicating i would say yes so they may have commune you in some way so you may have maybe seen the same type of uh, bird there are they are messengers over and over and over it could be eagles it could be something else um i don't see any other birds here but definitely if you're seeing repeating things over and over that is definitely spirit letting you know and they're like communing you letting you know you are connecting to us don't give up the vision keep grounding yourself keep on connecting with us as well 
But let's see what this has to do with love and being single. So, all right. Well, let's see here for Sagittarius. You could be um, you could be having visions with some uh, visions of someone as well. Maybe it's a very spiritual connection because we do have two spirit energies here. I mean, male or female doesn't matter. I do see two feminines, but all right. What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? I do have another channel, Sag. It's a Twin of Flame channel. You could check that out if you'd like to. Link is below and uh, daily poll on the community tab to vote on every single day as well. All right, what else here for Sagittarius? All right. I feel like there's going to be a flyer here, but let's see. This one. Birthing a new age. So there's definitely something new birthing in your life here. So we have don't dim to di dim in. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So you may have fit yourself into a mold of what someone else wanted you to be in the past. Uh, dimming your light and uh, you know being someone who, who you truly, <laughs> who you authentically truly weren't, just to fit their mold of who they wanted you to be is kind of what I feel. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So definitely you're creating a new world for, new world for yourself. I see that here. And, um, you know, you don't want anyone here to dim your light, to dim your creativity, to dim your dreams, goals, or aspirations. That is what I see here. All right. All right. So I feel like a spiritual connection here. All right. Sagittarius. So what I'm going to do here, Sagittarius, is look at your energy and the energy around you. See what's coming on for Sagittarius singles. Then we'll take a even more of a deeper look. So I'm just going to shuffle this up. I've been doing something a little bit different. Cutting the deck, getting the bottom energy, and then uh, doing a spread. So let's see. I'm going to pull, cut the deck. Pull one for your energy. Oh, the world. So definitely... Um, a new age, a new cycle here. Again, could be moving or traveling. Like some of you, like I said, maybe just move to someone very dry, somewhere very dry, warm climate, maybe the desert or where there's a lot of desert. But definitely world here, new cycle ending, a new cycle starting, an old cycle ending. Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, that could be traveling, distance, moving. And the energy around you is the Four of Swords. I feel like there's somebody thinking about you, Sag. You might be miles apart, but they they still think of you. That's kind of what I feel here. All right, so let's see what's going on with your energy. Well, the Empress. Emperor, Empress doesn't matter. So definitely knowing your value, your worth, and knowing who you truly are, Libra Taurus. You're never going to let anyone dim who you truly are again. That's who what I feel here. Five of Cups. So let us sadness was... Regret, disappointments of the past. Eight of Swords. So, I mean, you could have really loved somebody in the past, and um, it was very disappointing that they wouldn't truly let you be who you wanted to be, because I see you kind of being put in a cage here and being um, stuck in an energy here. Hangman, Pisces energy, definitely stuck in limbo, strength. But you're very strong-willed, strong, courageous, and brave. We have Pisces and Leo here. And the strength can be about past life energy as well. Strong, courageous, and brave. Willpower, determination. A lot of holding back. There m might have been someone around you recently who really enlightened you to something in your life. And then you felt a strong connection, but there had to be a lot of resistance maybe holding back. Or this is you just gaining your strength and saying, you know what, I'm enlightened now and no longer will I let this person have control over me. Because she's kind of controlling this lion. Star. A lot of deep healing here. Divinely guided energy. I think I got, uh, I had a different deck, but for Leo, I think in the same exact spot, I got the star. And Leo's reading, well, well no, it wasn't really... It was kind of similar, but not really. But uh, we have Aquarius here. So faith, hope, optimism, wish dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, lots and lots of healing. 
some for some reason you were meant to go through this uh, to do to heal something about yourself as well maybe you know you never really started for yourself maybe you always fit other people's molds of what they want you to be and maybe being in this situation really really strengthened you to realize you know what I'm done I'm done pleasing people and being what they want me to be instead of me just being who I want to be so you're definitely closing a cycle here and starting a new cycle so let's see what the energy is around you so there's somebody here I feel like um, oh that's leaves I thought it was butterflies um, who I feel is thinking of you is that butterflies or that leaves no, they're butterflies. So butterflies may be significant. That's about transformation. Somebody could be praying and hoping, thinking about you, that something's going to transform or transpire between the two of you. I feel like this is someone you know, but let's see. But I think there's distance. Kind of see that here. But there's that spiritual connection, I feel. Nine of Wands. Eight of Pentacles could have been someone you worked with at one time. <sighs> Queen of Cups. Cancer Energy. I feel like this is someone maybe you worked with or collaborated with in some way, shape, or form in the past. We have Cancer here. And I think this person, I mean, the Queen of Cups is intuitive energy as well. But that's about falling in love. I think somebody... I think somebody was falling in love with you in the past, Sagittarius, but they were resisting it. They were fighting off the temptation. They seen it not as a dark or evil energy, but it's just something maybe at the time they couldn't let in or they weren't supposed to let in. So they were trying to hold it back and resist it. Nine of Cups. So this person is single as well. We don't have any uh, nines for you over here, but this is a singles reading. So if you're watching this, obviously you're single. So this person over here is single. You know, they're just do living their life, doing as they please, doing what they want. Two nines here, so they're definitely single. Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. They could be overindulging just a little bit. Maybe, you know, obsessing over the connection with you just a little bit as well. Um... magician this person could be um <laughs> I, don't, I don't know they could be a little obsessed with you sag you know they're trying to manifest this now i mean i feel like i feel like in the past they tried to resist it as best they could but they couldn't help themselves from falling in love with you and now it's like they couldn't help to fall in love with you and now they're like obsessed with the connection with you and they're trying to manifest it even if it's spiritually you know praying meditating whatever they're doing here but i gotta clarify that double i don't know if this I don't, I don't like how that felt. All right, I did see the Ace of Cups, though. So I see Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer. So I don't know if this is something they were attached to when they met you and they had um, disengaged themselves from. Because I kind of see this magician, you know, he's got the sword in his hand. So maybe this person let go of something they were attached to that was very toxic in their life in hopes to be with you. But now there's distance between you and they still think of you. Hmm. All right. But I want to clarify, what is this devil? They're hoping for a new beginning with you. The magician here as well. What is this devil for the energy around whoever this is for you, <laughs> Sag? Seven of Pentacles. See, someone was working on something. I feel like someone was working to free themselves from something here. Eight of Wands taking action. Something they, you know, had invested in for quite a long time. But then there's taking action away from that energy. Two of Swords. This person could have been stuck in a, um, a situation that they just didn't know how to free themselves from. And somehow meeting you probably gave them the motivation they needed to break free from a very toxic situation. They could have been involved with someone that maybe was an alcoholic or, or uh, someone very toxic. Hmm, interesting. So I just need a little more on this energy here. You you know, some of you, Sagis, you could have been married in the past or in a committed relationship, but I feel like 
I feel like you're single now. Um, you're on your own quest. You're birthing a new life for yourself. Definitely starting a new cycle here. But let's get a little more for this person. Chariot. Yeah, this person's moved away from something. Positive movement forward. I feel like whatever it was was positive movement forward. If somehow meeting you gave them the motivation to do this, to move away from this energy, cancer energy. Now they're feeling more uh, at balance, successful. It's a cancer energy. Two of Wands. I feel like by doing this too, they hope that it would somehow open the pathway for the two of you to be together somehow. All right. Knight of Cups that, you know, a cup would be offered or there would be some sort of forward movement in love or courting, dating, getting to know. Scorpio energy there. So I think this person's waiting, like the path is open now, like they broke free from something. I think maybe you work together in some platform, some way, shape or form. Um, and somehow meeting you gave them motivation they needed to move out of a very toxic situation. And now they're hoping, okay, to open up the pathway, maybe something can happen now in the future between them and you. So let's see what's going to happen here. So we have Scorpio over here. Seven of Wands, Six of Cups, King of Swords. So somebody is, you know, hoping and praying here, Six of Cups for a return, that there will be uh, communication, clarity, King of Swords energy here. Seven of Wands can be about, you know, fighting for what we want. It can be about uh, setting healthy boundaries, being in defense. But this person is kind of like praying and meditating first before having maybe to go into battle one more time or having to fight or defend something. Kind of hoping that they don't have to do that. But, but I see that's this praying and meditating for someone's return and for clarity to come in here. So someone is waiting for clarity. What is this? Five of Wands, maybe even to fight for what they want. Fight for this connection, maybe, or fight for something. It's like stand up and fight. It's like somebody's hoping somebody will stand up and fight. And we do have the Three of Cups here, which is about reunion, dating, getting to know. What else? So we have Gemini there with the King of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. It's it's slow moving. It's been a long hot minute here. Taurus energy. But this person's still holding out, still holding out faith and hope that something something will take place here. There'll be some sort of movement. Um, someone will return, you know, come in fighting for this, clear the air, have communication. And I feel like this person, uh, Taurus energy here, would be willing to take time and go slow. They've been waiting long enough anyway, <laughs> in a way. Ace of Wands, exciting new beginnings. So there definitely could be a lot of attraction here. There's been a lot of holding back because of endings, uncertainty, uh, maybe even, you know, missed opportunities. Knight of Wands, that's you, Sagittarius. Action getter, go getter, the traveler, fate, destiny. These are two of your cards right here. This is Sagittarius, Leo, Chris, Tro, Scorpio. So definitely, and again, movement again here with the Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. So. The lovers. So there is a connection here. Gemini energy. Soulmate. Oh my God, look at this. The two of cups and the lovers. Two soulmate cards here. Someone hoping someone's going to reach out here to the other. The one, one that's been waiting. We have Leo up here with the um, lion on the top. Queen of Wands. We are in airy season right now. Wow. So, Sag, I do see that, um, you know, you may have fear of being tied down again, of being put in a box. I think this person has cleared their pathway. They resisted this at first, how they were feeling towards you. They resisted it, but now they've cleared something out of their life. And now they're hoping that now that the pathway is clear, that uh, there will be some sort of movement, return, conversation, courting, dating, getting to know. I'm going to put this back up here. Okay. All right. Could have started off with, you know, a little bit of attraction here. All right. Sagittarius. Advice and guidance for Sagittarius. Okay. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. If it doesn't work, 
to try to fix some, it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her own healing so i mean you may have had relationships in the past where you're like okay maybe if i can fix this person they'll you know they'll let go of this idea of who they want me to be but you know you can't fix everybody surrender to prayer see somebody is praying here give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you'll be heard throughout the universe and the answers and answers and support will arrive so again praying meditating whatever you need to do here surrender to your full power and this gives me leo vibes here your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small wow yeah you've had your whole life of playing it small to other people here we do have surrender the drama, so I don't know if that means anything to anyone. And we do have sur surrender to non-action. So it's about taking action. Somebody's hoping that you will take action, Sag, to come into your full power. They've been praying for this. And I don't think this person is going to be someone that's going to put you in a box or trap you or, you know not dim your this person will not dim your light they will not so you've been praying for, and hoping for someone who will not do this to you i definitely feel like this is the person because i definitely think if you've been praying for this the universe has heard your prayers because you are communing with the universe here as well they have communed you and there's definitely birthing of a new new age a new connection here as well for you and it could be a very spiritual connection all right, Satch, that's what I have for you. So I hope to help it resonate. Again, check your playlist. All your April re readings are out. We'll be going into May next. Uh, the backup channel or the other channel, which is the Twin Flames channel, you can check that out. I'll be posting every um, Monday and Thursday there as well, but 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there'll be more collective readings, just a couple of readings a week. And um, you can also vote on the community polls as well on the community tab. So wishing you the best, Sagittarius, and I shall see you next time.